An estimated 25,000 tons of used batteries are sitting in warehouses in Gaza, posing a dangerous threat to people and the environment. People in Gaza have had to rely on batteries as a source of energy for years, as the region has had an unreliable electricity supply since Israel destroyed its only power plant in 2006. Gaza also doesn't have any recycling facilities of their own, and a blockade from Israel and Egypt has prevented the export of the waste to be recycled or discarded safely elsewhere. The Environment Quality Authority estimates that there are 25,000 tons of old batteries being stored at several locations. And there's a risk that the batteries break and ooze liquid that includes sulfuric acid into the soil and groundwater, according to Mohamed Musleh, an official with the Environment Quality Authority. Batteries contain potentially toxic materials, which can catch fire or pollute the environment and cause health issues. However, they also contain rare materials, which can be recycled. Merchants will buy the used batteries on the streets and store them, hoping that once the export ban is lifted, they will be able to sell them. The batteries rarely reach the hazardous waste unit in the Gaza City municipality, according to Ahmed Abu Abdu, the head of the unit. Hussein Hamad of the Gaza-based Al-Mazan Center for Human Rights said, There is a problem. Here, the batteries have started to affect human rights. The right to health, the right to clean environment, and the right to life. 